hello and welcome to robot framework tutorial in this tutorial we are going to learn how you can externalize the user defined keywords into the resource file and then utilize those keywords user defined keywords into your test cases so the last tutorial was all about defining the user defined keywords and how you can create your own keywords for the test cases to be utilized so what i have done in this tutorial is i have extended the existing test case that we were taking as an example and i have added two more steps there so what we were doing till now is to verify the results on the search page now another fourth and fifth steps that i have added to to provide you more detail example is to create uh, or filter the search results by selecting a certain condition and then verifying that the results are displayed as per the selected criteria so let's see what these fourth and fifth steps are so for example i am searching for any text or any product on the ebay website now the fourth step says is that i want to select the product based on certain condition so i'll be choosing a condition as new and then I want to verify that this new filter is available and the products listed are actually the products that meet the criteria uh, that is defined which is the new right so this is fourth and fifth step first second and third step are pretty simple which is basically navigating to the eBay website typing in the text search text and clicking on the search results right so let's go ahead and see this into our script so we'll open pycharm and here if you'll see what i have done is we had already created these three keywords in the prior tutorial right now um sorry uh, the first second and the last keyword were created in the last tutorial this third and fourth keyword is what i have created for the fourth and fifth step the so fourth step says filter search results by condition and fifth says verification of the filtered results so here i'm in the fourth step in the third step i am filtering the results by condition so there are some keywords which have utilized mouse over and mouse down and then the clicking the element and then verifying the results okay so now we have these keywords defined in this particular file now how to externalize these keywords into the resource file and if you remember in the previous tutorial into the introductory session of the robot framework tutorial i had introduced about the resources file wherein you can create the common file or any of the uh, file based on the criteria which will be categorized uh, which will be helpful in categorizing the similar functionality for the keywords so for example if i talk about the common functionality in any automation framework so common functionality for any of the test case would be to open the browser and close the browser right so what we can do is we can define a new file right so we'll say in the resource we'll say common functionality right and then just say dot robot let me change the spelling all right and that will be created as a robot file there right and the next file we'll create is to uh, move the keywords that we have defined in the basic search the custom user defined keywords into the uh, resources file so let me name it as eBay uh, custom or eBay user defined keywords. All right. Dot robot. Okay. So now we have created these two files there. Okay. Now we can simply go to the basic search and move these keywords out from this basic search test case into the eBay user defined keywords so if you analyze this particular test case here so we start test case and finish test case are the keywords for opening the browser and opening the eBay website in the browser 
and then maximizing the browser window finish test case is just about the closing the browser now these two keywords are the common functionality keywords that will be utilized by each and every test case that you define or write for the ebay website or ebay functionality so what we can do is we can simply copy or cut these keywords from here and paste it into the common functionality right now i'll just simply paste it as of now and then we'll fix the file later now the next one that we want to move to the common functionality is finish test case or finish um, yeah finish test case right now the next keywords are about the verifying the search results filtering the condition and verifying the results filter results so let's cut these and these are related to the ebay user defined keywords so we'll simply copy these into the user defined keywords file now as we have seen the sections of the robot file so we the first section is the settings so we'll just say import the settings and then we'll import the keywords right so these are all keywords user defined keywords now in the settings these keywords are the user defined keywords which in turn are utilizing the keywords from selenium library so in settings what we'll do is we'll import the library and selenium library okay and save this file now same thing we'll do into the common functionality so we'll copy the whole thing here right and we'll paste in the common functionality right so now you can see the keywords that we have defined the user defined keywords are now recognized and they are in turn talking to um, you know like the selenium library because these custom keywords or the user defined keywords in turn inside they are using the selenium library keywords that is why we need to import selenium library in the common functionality and user defined keywords right now in our test case if you see we don't need this keyword section anymore okay and we sim we can simply run our test case with just these steps here okay now what we don't need here as well is because now we are not using any of the selenium library keywords we can remove this okay and where can we reference these keywords from so let me save this file okay we'll save all these files now because these keywords are not mentioned in this particular file so if we want to execute this test case now it will throw an error okay because it won't be able to recognize any of the keywords so if you go to the report open the report in the chrome browser let me open it in firefox just check the results here and we'll see that if you see that no keyword with name start test case found the reason for that is that we haven't defined any keywords or we haven't referenced these keywords from the files that we have moved these keywords in now how can we reference these keywords in the test case file which is basic search dot robot just go to the file and then just start typing resource okay and then as soon as you will you will hit enter there will be two necessary spaces already there so resource uh, double space and then we need to find out where is these where are these resource file right so we are in the basic search at the moment so we need to go up ebay and then another uh, folder tests and then at the same level we have resources in within which we have these files right so how we can reference this just double dot and then forward slash which will make which will traverse the file to the next step which is the ebay folder and then we need to go to the tests level so again double dot forward slash and now we are at this particular level and we can reference either uh, results or resources so we can type in resources which is the folder and then common functionality dot robot so we'll just say uh, rename it we'll copy the name and paste the name All right so we'll say robot similarly we'll reference the other file which is ebay functionality dot robot 
so ebay user defined keywords so we'll copy the name for that as well and paste it here dot robot so now this particular test case which is basic search dot robot is referencing the keywords which are defined in these external file which is common functionality dot robot and user defined ebay user defined keywords now let me save this file right and let us run the test case again and now the test case should run successfully so yeah it's uh, launching the browser now and you can see the ebay has launched it will search for the text mobile it will verify the mobile text then it will click on the condition new and after the results are displayed as per the selected condition it will verify the text and close the test case so finished test case has been called as well so now if you see these keywords start test case finish test case verify search results filter results verify filter results are all the user defined keywords which we have defined in these two files and then we are using these user defined keywords in our test case which makes our test case very much readable and maintainable so tomorrow if you want to have another test case with a little bit of difference in the functionality but we want to reuse some of these keywords user defined keywords we can still reuse it so now let's go ahead and see the report okay so we'll open the report and here you can see we'll analyze the report and now you can see that we have the verify basic search functionality which is coming from the documentation and then we have the keyword right so here if you can see that th the keywords that we have defined in these file like common functionality or ebay user defined keywords has been um, already added to these keywords right so the file name has been added which will give us a fair bit of idea if in case there is a failure which file exactly we need to go through and check these keywords and below these keywords you can see that it is referencing the inside keywords are referencing the selenium library right so now you can see it becomes a lot more easier and clearer to go through these results and see which file we need to look into and where the failure is actually happening before you can go ahead and debug it otherwise in if you're maintaining everything or uh, in a particular test case hard coding everything in a test case and then referencing selenium library in all your test case it will be really hard to recognize or segregate where the failure is happening so that's the advantage of externalizing these keywords and then basically running your test case so in the in the results you will see a very clear report where to debug your test case so that is pretty much all about the externalizing your user defined keywords into the resources file in the next upcoming tutorial we will cover a bit more about the user defined keywords so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching